You need community. You really need community. Without community, your life will be isolated. And at the same time, community is the place of your purification, of your sanctification. Because in community, you are tested constantly to not expect from an other human being what only God can give. And in a way, community living, as important as it is to let the light of God and the communion of God become known to the world, at the same time, it's the place that calls you right back to that communion. The longer you live community, the more you know you have to spend the nights in communion with God. Precisely because the community calls you always back to the source of it. And so it's that mystery of communion leads to community, but community always calls you to a deeper, 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 deeper level of communion. Because community is the place of detachment of not wanting it all for yourself, of not of having to, to let go of a lot of things you're attached to, of being willing to live with people with characters that you never thought you would survive with, uh, of, of being able to be with people who are very different in cultural style and eating habits and in ma- manners of speaking and so forth. And I think it's really important to realize that community then is the place where you live out communion and also where that communion is to be purified. And as the longer you live in community, the more you've been called to that place with God alone. (coughs) And therefore solitude and community can never, never be separate. Solitude is the place on the mountaintop where you enter in communion with God. And it brings you back to community, and community calls you back to the mountaintop. He, he belongs to God.